According to Deadline, Rat Pat Entertainment and Brett Ratner have secured the life rights for a biopic on Playboy founder Hugh Hefner. The film is currently without a writer or director, but Brett Ratner will now begin the process of developing the movie as a producer from the ground up. The movie is a passion project for the director-producer, who has been trying to get the movie off the ground for over a decade, hiring a number of writers in the process and working alongside Brian Grazer at Imagine Entertainment at one time. Ratner now has the rights and the blessings from Hugh Hefner himself, who released the following statement. In recent years, there has been plenty of interest and much conversation about doing a feature film based on my life. I have always believed that when the timing was truly right, the perfect creative partners would come together for this project. I believe we've found those partners in Brett Ratner and Rat Pack Entertainment. I'm very much looking forward to this collaboration. Schnett Byerselli biopic on Hugh Hefner with Brett Ratner producing. I'm going to buy it. I mean, I know that they've been uh, in the development process on the Hugh Hefner biopic for decades, and Brett Ratner was originally involved many decades ago, like not many decades, one decade ago, and then it lost the rights, it went into a lot of turnaround, other people developed it. Um, it's it, It'll be interesting to see how they approach it. I mean, with Playboy and where we are now in our culture, it's like it almost Playboy seems passe to a certain mm -hmm. degree. So... I'm really interested to see how they're going to approach it. Like Hugh Hefner, you know, in the 50s, 60s, are they going to, you know, go decade by decade through his life and the changes and and how our culture changed? I mean, that's pretty interesting. Yeah, I mean, it's it's I'll, I'll buy it because it, the story of Hugh Hefner is something that I think people are going to have some sort of interest in, even if they go in with the kind of a like, uh, okay, let's go see what this is. Because for Hugh Hefner to say that he's been waiting his entire life for Brett Ratner to come along, it, I'm, I, I can't really buy that part of the statement. It sounds like it was utter when he was wearing a silk robe in between a blue pill and a yellow pill. But look, this is Hugh Hefner. This is a guy whose story clearly has been out there in the public. We know his public persona. I'd like to get know more about the business side of Hugh Hefner building this empire with Playboy. I don't think that Brett Ratner has done a lot recently. I mean, he... You know, he, he did a Hercules movie. He did Tower Heist, which I got some laughs out of. He says a lot of idiotic things sometimes in the press, so I don't get excited about Brett Ratner doing upcoming projects. But if Hugh Hefner seems excited about it, Hugh Hefner feels like it's the right time in his life to make a Playboy movie because I'm sure he actually wants to go to the premiere. Hugh Hefner is getting long in the tooth, so if we're going to make a movie and Hugh's going to be around to see it, we should probably go ahead and do it now and get off the pot. Jeremy, Hugh Hefner, Brett Ratner, what say you? Blue pills, yellow pills. I don't know if that's a Matrix reference or another Saturday night at Casa de John's. Either way, I'm liking <laughs> it, and I really like where your head's at, Mark. I was going. I was apprehensive about this when I thought Brett Ratner was directing it. Brett Ratner producing it? Mm -hmm. If they get another director, totally buying it. Hugh Hefner has an interesting life. It'll actually culturally be interesting, like you were saying, Schnapp. I was like, Playboy's like, it's... You know, it's not that crazy these days. And so it'll be funny seeing it in the 50s. People are like, um, she shows her leg. You can't do that. You know, so I mean, culturally speaking, I think it'll be a neat little uh, view into the 50s. And just the guy does have an interesting life. I do believe that Hefner's been waiting all his life for a movie to happen. Ratner's like, dude dude have you said come on and he's like yeah yeah sure you'll do you know so i i do think that if there was i was not the least bit surprised when i heard brett ratner was producing this movie at all right so, i mean if, if we get the right crew behind it for uh directing yeah totally looking forward to this one. yeah and i mean like one of the reasons i buy it is because you would hope that what they'd be able to do with a story like this is turn it into the cultural touchstone that playboy was not a celebration of hugh hefner's mansion because i don't really care about that i care more about a story like the people versus larry flint where it also became yeah. like a, a free speech issue or something like that. So, Perry, if that's the lofty goal, do you buy or sell this movie with Brett Ratner producing? I'm going to buy it. Uh, you know, throwing Brett Ratner's name in the mix doesn't really give me as much hope as if, you know, someone else that I really admired was in there. But at the same time, you know, Brett Ratner has been somewhat involved in this project for a very long time. They've had so many iterations of this that just don't take off. And if he's had, you know, even the slightest hand in on that situation and saw what didn't work and why it couldn't go on, I don't know, maybe he is the right guy to kind of spearhead something like this in order to make it happen. Because I do think we really do need a Hugh Hefner movie. Because, well, I mean, everything he's accomplished, it's, it's easy nowadays to be like, oh, like Playboy, you know, like what is it anymore versus what it was even just 10 years ago. 
it changed the world in a really big way. And based on, I think the, the original source for the story came from Deadline and the way that they presented in their article, it seems like it's going to focus more on the earlier years, mm -hmm. which I certainly want to hear more about. So I'm going to buy this. Yeah, I was going to add that uh, Diablo Cody had mm -hmm. written a screenplay several years back when Ratner was attached. And I think Ratner's a great, a great person to make this film. Rat Pack, it's named after the, you know, the D, you know Dino and all the whole gang. I mean, he's he's kind of obsessed with that whole that whole part of the culture. Like he just posted a great picture of Don Rickles after Don Rickles had passed. Mm -hmm. So I think he's the perfect guy to produce the film. I was at the comedy store, uh, hanging out on the front porch uh, as I'm wont to do from time to time, and this is about five years ago. And Hef walked by uh, to a limo that was parked out there, and there was about maybe him and ten of his you know Playboy models or bunnies or whatever, and they're all walking <laughs> together. And Hef had like a like a red like silk like tuxedo on, and he had like the, the you know cigar or whatever and he just looked tired the guy I, I like i felt bad for the guy because he's got to entertain all these people and he really just looked like he wanted to go to bed and watch matlock so i hope you get a kick out of your own movie half and i hope you get a chance to see it and i hope that brett ratner does a good job producing it because there could be a lot to say with a playboy and hugh hefner biopic all right ash what's up next i'm just shocked that you said that you felt bad for hugh hefner i don't really feel bad for hugh hefner look i'm a lazy guy like i i can't i can barely entertain one human being much less a bevy of people for a night out in the town the guy just wanted to go to bed and watch murder she wrote i promise you <laughs> I'm with you. People are like, you want to go out? I'm like, look, Family Feed's not going to watch itself. <laughs> 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 Very much the same way. All right.